What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel and today I'm hungry. Me too. <laughs> we just arrived at the Hemingways. Apparently from what we understand, especially from you guys, yeah. they have the best Sunday brunch in Kenya. Yeah. And we didn't pick the best day because today is actually Mother's Day. We didn't plan that but we're going to go inside and, and, and see what it is all about and drink a lot of Prosecco because apparently it's, it's bottomless Prosecco and I can't wait I know, right? to understand why it's about like what $170 for a couple. It's pretty pricey. Um, and this is kind of why we haven't gone in a while because we yeah. were just like, well, I don't know, like, is it going to be worth it? But we just stayed next door, so. Let's go check it out. Let's see. So Hemingways is one of the best hotel in Nairobi. It's actually in Karen and we did a full video about this place a few months ago. So I'm going to link that Christmas one. Time. Yeah, I'm going to link that one uh, down below. Yeah. And you must check it out because it's it's a very nice hotel. So now we are waiting for a table. We just had a little glimpse at the dessert table. It looks out of this world. I saw a lot of Prosecco coming out of the kitchen already. It smells amazing. I'm like, very excited. I haven't even eaten the food yet. And I already see why people say it's worth it. But is it worth that much money? We'll That's see. That's what we're going to find we'll out. See. We just got seated. I'm so excited. The amount of staff that's here is unbelievable. That means there's a lot of station, a lot of food. Can't wait. So the Sunday brunch actually starts at 12. It's now 12.07. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> So we just got our first glass of Prosecco and I see people starting to head up. So let's go get some food. So for the first round, yeah, the first round, because we didn't realize they had sushi, we got a bunch of sushis, a bunch of like different grilled vegetables with cheeses and meat and this sake Bloody Mary, which is very spicy, but pretty good. So if the rest of the buffet is as good as that, I don't really have words, to be honest. We're gonna leave this place rolling, guys. how many rounds there's gonna be but for the second round we have some pasta with meatballs I got a lobster chapati so I'm very happy and some rice and some pork with some sauce it looks delicious Tracy got some hoxtail too and I think it's time for round three So even though we're probably gonna get sushi again after because they're delicious, Tracy wanted to eat dessert right now. I wanted to make sure I had room to try the dessert because normally by dessert you're super full and I wanted to enjoy it. So she has a plate full of dessert and I to have share. to try the, yeah, yeah. And I had to try the waffle station. <laughs> a lot that's for sure now it's time for the not fun part of going to the restaurant
It's a miracle that uh, we can still walk. Whew. This uh, dress is a little tight right now. I'm yeah, I think uh, we're gonna go back home, have a food come off for the rest of the no, day. But what first, we should do is go back home and go for a walk. Yeah, maybe we should do that. Yeah, I think we should. Well, first we're gonna actually go back home and give you guys a full review. Yes. Our thoughts, prices, and everything. It might yes. shock you, so stay tuned. So we just came back home. We're still able to stand, which is pretty good. I'm still extremely full yeah. and can't wait to put sweatpants on. Yeah. Just... And by the way, I was wearing like my my favorite socks, oh, my Mickey uh, my Mickey were. socks. So <laughs> just wanted to you know put that out there in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so we just came back, and before we give you a review, like I just want to say. All the food was delicious. It was amazing. It was yeah. really, really good. And even good. the Prosecco was very good. Like you could, you know when someone's you can tell are like an extremely cheap, this Prosecco probably was a cheap Prosecco, but it tasted good. Yeah. And so to be honest, good. I did look it up online. That Prosecco goes for uh, 3,500 oh, Kenyan yeah. shillings, which is way more than what I thought yeah. since it's all you can drink. We thought it'd be like a... $10. Yeah, something like that. So it's like yeah. three to four times more expensive than what I thought. So they're actually giving you the good stuff. So that's pretty nice. Yeah. So the big question, is it worth it? My opinion, <laughs> if you drink alcohol and if you like eating expensive foods such, such as sushi, it's worth it. Mm -hmm. It's not immensely worth it, if that makes sense. It really depends on how much you eat. And how much you drink. Yes. Yeah. So like we just had like a couple glasses of Prosecco and everything. And it She was... says that, but we drink a bottle. Yeah, but we need two of Yeah, but though. still, that's 3,500 can yeah, shillings right there. That's true. That's yeah. true. But for me, what made it worth it is the sushi. Because sushi here, I find extremely expensive. Yeah. So you could literally go up to the sushi bar and ask for like just an entire plate of sushi and yeah. like give it to 100%. you if you want it. We Actually, went there, we went there twice. <laughs> And yeah. they were like, you again? And I was like, yeah. Yeah, like we basically tried everything. Like we, the only thing we didn't do was like the omelets. No, because we know what an omelet is. Yeah, exactly. But like even the desserts, like I brought probably like four or five back yeah. to us so that we could like taste test them all. They were, some were good, some were Yeah, I had a favorite, average. but some were okay. I yeah. mean, like I'm not a very big dessert You're not person, a dessert person anyway, no. so yeah. you wouldn't get me with dessert. But overall... If you go there to eat so breakfast, sausages, bacon, uh, fruits, uh, yeah. and omelets, it's not worth the price at all. If you go there to drink a lot of Prosecco, sushi, uh, lobster, and other expensive oh, yeah, meats and true. stuff... yeah, that's true. lobster too, and I did then forget about that. it's definitely worth the price. Yeah, and I have to say, for their sushi too, the quality yeah. of their tuna and salmon... Yeah. Oh my goodness. Like, I don't eat the... I'm gonna like show myself right now, but like... <laughs> The ones that are just rice and just a piece of meat like over top of them, I normally don't get those ones because sometimes the texture of the fish yeah. is just chewy. It melted in your mouth and I yeah. want it more. <laughs> we talked about sushi a lot, but we're, we're big sushi fans. I know, I know. <laughs> but you also get your money's worth in that yeah. area, I find. But on top of the quality of the food and everything and the variety, because trust me, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of variety there for sure. You guys saw that. You know, you get you get a jazz band, you get a very, very good nice. service, you're in a very yeah. good setting. Like the Hemingway is one of the best hotels in Nairobi. Once again, I'm gonna yeah. link the video that we did about that hotel down below. It's worth a watch, it's a very, it very is. nice place. Yeah. So, you know, I totally understand where the price is coming from. Is it expensive? Yes, of course it's expensive. Yeah. But it's you you can't see it like it's not the amount of money that you're paying for breakfast because it's not really breakfast. I mean, like, no, like there's sushi, lobster, shawarma yeah. station, pasta. Like, it's it's a buffet, but it's a great. very high quality buffet. Yeah. So, overall, is it worth it? Once again, if you go there for the prosecco and the the expensive food, yes, for yeah. sure. But don't go there to eat like scramble eggs. Yeah. So I think it's something like for us, we wouldn't do often. No. Maybe like a couple times a year or an yeah. event or something. Yeah. Um, like I would still go back, don't get me wrong. But because of the price of it, it's hard to say like, oh, I want to go back all the time. Okay, so we just looked up to, and for a child, so for an adult, it's 59, sorry, 5,900 shillings. Yep. Uh, for a child, it's 3,200. Yeah. For a child between the age of four to eight, I have to be honest, and not because of like a kid environment, Unless your child is a good eater, I probably wouldn't bring yeah, them unless you have not, the extra money to yeah, spend. Yeah, because he's not going to drink Prosecco. Like that, <laughs> it's very expensive for a child. Yeah, it's very lie. expensive because they're just going to yeah. picking at a little bit of everything, but not really like, you know, they're not going to yeah. eat lobster and... But I'm like, okay, so we were there and the table beside us had a child mm -hmm. and 
she ate, she like, ate a, whole a ton bunch of sushi. sushi. So, you so know? like, if your child loves sushi, definitely <laughs> bring them along. But yeah. I know not all children do. So just keep that in mind of how your yeah. child eats. Yeah. Yeah. And otherwise, it runs every Sunday uh, yeah. from 12 to uh, 3 p.m. Yeah. And, you know, dress up for the occasion. We don't dress up that often anymore. No, no not really. <laughs> Still have Mickey, too, uh, Mickey but... socks though, but, you know. <laughs> but yeah, otherwise we had a very good morning. It, it was, was very good. nice. I'm going to link the video about a Hemingway down below. I, said, I know I said it a lot, but I really want you guys to watch it. But otherwise, well, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and see you guys in the next one.